You drilled holes in the table? Yeah. It's kind of trippy. I, I just noticed. Know. Wow. It looks nice on huh? Yeah, it looks way nicer. Hey, you guys doubt my abilities. I am. <laughs> remember, I am full Hispanic. <laughs> what if they're like, I don't like it? Fuck. I, I don't like it. <laughs> nah, you don't fuck you guys. It what took me a long it? time. Don't even say it, or what do you think? Either they're going to notice? Well, I'm definitely gonna say like, welcome oh, to the are? fucking studio. Oh, okay. I have a question. I have a question. Um, and then just actually like starting the podcast, but not really starting the podcast. Is it racist or colorism if I say that I prefer a specific race of women? Like I'm attracted to a no, specific it's your race of women. No, it's your preference. So it's why do type. people say? Why do people call that like colorism? Like if you're choosing colorism isn't isn't that what those it's called? people are just taking it too far that's just yeah. taking it too far right it's just taking it too far it's okay. i'd never even heard of that yeah i was gonna say i've never like sm- it becomes an issue when you're like i only like her because she's yeah, white that would make sense does that make sense yeah. so i'm just like any any like white girl or something like that if i like any white girl then you just like white girls. You just like white girls. That's yeah. just your preference. What, what Some people about? don't have a type. Like I'm only date. I've only dated exclusively Asian guys or half Asian guys. Why is that? That's just what I'm attracted to. Like their mm, ethics, racist, their Christine. morals line up to me. Like their the way that they're raised is similar to oh, the way okay, I was okay, raised. Okay, okay. So that's just how I end up dating those people. Are you bi? Or yes, I am. Oh, I don't know that. Do you identify though as bisexual? Mm-hmm. How long? Sweet. God, probably since I was like seven is when I was like, I think I had my first girl crush. Does okay. Bintia know? Cause you know, huh? Does Bintia know? Yeah, she does. I told her like my senior year of high school or my freshman year of college. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know when you get like the Valentines that you pass out in class? Yeah, I know about that. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna give this one guy a big Valentine. And then I was like, oh, I should also get this girl in my class <laughs> a really big <laughs> Valentine. Did you, did, you did you go through with it? Yes, yeah, so I got her a big Valentine. And she was like, oh my God, you're my best friend. Oh, you got, oh, you got friend, friend zone? zone? Yeah. Damn. Okay, we were like seven years old. Nah, that fucking sucks, huh? Yeah, oh, it, it, it hurt a little bit. But that was when I first was like, maybe I like girls. Have you ever gotten friend zone, Christine? Yeah, I have. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. By like by, by like a guy? Mm-hmm. Could I hear about it? Like, how'd you feel? Did you ever think you were going to get out of it? Oh, careful there, buddy. And did you, and did you try to get out of it? Yeah. Um... I did try to get out of it. There were, it was just like the person that this was with was just, we both just liked each other at different times. Uh, so, so we would admit to each other like, hey, I like you. And we'd be like, the other person would say, sorry, this is the right time. And then I would move that. on and they would, but we still stayed really good friends. Was this like on and off like a lot? Or was it just like you liked him? And it was like three you? years. On and off, just on and off, yeah. on and off, on and off. Yeah. So did you try like when he like friend zoned you? Were you kind of like, I right, well, like maybe there's still a chance. Like, but um, right. no, I just kind of accepted it and moved on. And then he just came back into my life later. I'll 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 like do the intro real quick. But I have another question. Um, to people that get friend zoned, <laughs> what do you think their best bet is? You think they should keep trying, or like it, from a girl's <laughs> perspective, like you friend zone a guy? Would you like? Should he just be like, damn, like move on, or should he be like, nah, there's there might be hope. Like there might be hope. Oh yeah, he should move on. Damn. Damn. Because like even with the guy that I had the like off and on thing for, I was only friend zoned once. Got you. After that first time, I was like, okay, I'm out. Like we still stayed friends and he's like in a long term relationship right now and he's happy, so Okay, that makes sense. All right. Well, anyways, you guys ready to start? Let's get the shit. Dude, I'm surprised you're wearing a jacket right now. What? I don't know. Is it hot in there? It's getting, it's getting there. It's getting a little caliente. Um, on break time, though, when we take a break and everyone used to use the restroom, I'll go ahead and run this baby for a little bit again. Okay. And then okay, nice. turn it off, okay? And we're live in three, two, one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another segment of Suburb Talks. I'm your host, Nick Rajeta. Joining me tonight, we have Davino Paul. Hola, everyone. We have Sahe Gian. Mm-hmm. And we have Christine Choi. Hello. Unfortunately, Madu had to bail last minute, so it's going to be us four. Um, Christine's never been on a podcast when it was just the guys. I have not. Have you not? I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, no, shit. I haven't. I didn't even notice that. This is going to be interesting. Oh, Wait, yeah. I feel like I have. I thought you did. Not with she us. just did. Not with us four. It's always been Madu or 
No, it's just been Madu actually. I think. I feel like she just did one with him. Yeah, Madu it? was here. Oh. Yeah, Madu's always been here. Also, guys, if you guys notice anything new, my roommate actually moved out this past weekend, and we ended up moving everything into his room and making this the studio. So yeah, we're gonna be coming to you live from here instead of my kitchen uh, from now on. So you won't hear the tweakers outside. Um, <laughs> you won't see as as much food and crumbs like on the table and stuff like that. You want to introduce guests to or no? Guests? Like just be like, we're gonna be doing this. Oh, like what's going to be happening yeah. now? Oh, yeah. Um, also, guys, we were waiting to build the studio, too, because we wanted to start having like guests on the channel. Uh, we're going to start bringing on like popular like content creators, our friends, uh, people that kind of, I guess, like have the same content as us, I would say. Um, and people that we get along with really, really well and people that I genuinely would want to know more about or like specifically I'd want their take like about certain topics and stuff like that. Also, we're actually going to have another segment of the channel it's gonna be on the same youtube channel everything but we're gonna have i'm either gonna figure out how you guys can call in personally and ask us your guys's um like personal questions that we could answer live on twitch so i'll go ahead and make a twitch account <laughs> i'll make a twitch account oh shit uh, <laughs> and uh i'll post it like on my instagram i'll post it on youtube probably on the next week or something like that uh follow it and that's gonna be the new segment um and like i said all you guys know when that shit's up and running uh, second thing, I just want to say, like, it was so cool meeting, like, a couple of you guys at Hard Summer, dude. That Shouts shit, out to you guys. That shit actually was crazy. Like, meeting, we met, like, how many people do you think we met at Hard Summer? A lot. Hard Summer? Yeah. Oh, wait. Hard Summer, like, that day. Um, you thought I said Old Summer? No. I thought you were talking about the last, the, remember the one before that? Day Trip? Or you guys didn't go to Day Trip? Or the one that we were at the uh, Padre Stadium? Oh, LED, not LED, no, no, no. Uh, there? I don't know. I, I feel like I got, I thought that I got recognized with you guys because I was trying to like be like, yo, like, come here. Yeah. And they just kept talking to me and I was like, oh, maybe they don't know. <laughs> I was kind of weirded out. I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> that's you know, that's, that's what it was too. Like every time someone recognized me, I'm like, oh, I'm with like Sage and Devin. And they'll just be like talking to me and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I did that every time. I guess it just happened. Yeah, now, every though. time on the back, I was like. <laughs> every time also guys i got a lot of dms of people saying like oh we saw you but yeah we didn't really i got wanna, a lot of those too like we didn't want to say anything yeah, like i was too shy yeah. bro if you guys see us in public like just come up and say we'll something say like unless a... um like unless we're doing something like eating yeah uh, that's the only time yeah <laughs> only, only literally only yeah, time. i was yeah. munching on a glizzy early on yeah or like because like if you see me chowing down too Cause I'd be chowing down like it's nobody's business. You asked to eat my hot dog. That's how much you're fucking chowing down. Dude, I'm happy no one recognized me when I was fucking eating my glizzy at Hard Summer. Cause I was just fucking horking that thing down, bro. And my my hands were all sticky, and it, it was it was fucking amazing. But um, yeah, guys, it was so nice meeting y'all. But seriously, yeah, if you guys see some public, uh, just fucking say something, bro. It's super sick, like meeting all you guys like all the time. All you guys are literally so cool and Dude, so like nice. I haven't like. Every time we've met somebody, it's been a really good vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Never been and everyone looked so cool. Yeah. Someone gave me, um, I think his name is Jose. He gave me a glowy bracelet. Hey. The peace, love, No, unity. he just gave it to me. And we took a picture and he DM'd me afterwards. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Anyways, go guys, um, we're just going to go ahead and hop straight into the podcast. Uh, I had a couple like tailored questions for when Madi was here, but I kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit since it's us four. First question of the night. Might have asked this before, don't know. Uh, Christine, personally, how long do you think doing the deed should last for? Okay, well, it depends on your definition of doing the deed. If like, oh, like just straight sex? The action. Of the dick action. in vagina? Sure, yeah. <laughs> do you want to be explicit? I think pickle in jar. <laughs> can, can we start using like just funny ass words instead of the actual like yeah. terms for hot it? dog in the bun? Hot dog in the bun. Hot dog in the bun. The bun. Um, <laughs> I think I don't like it for more than uh, five minutes. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Wait, what do you mean you don't like it? After a while, it starts to. <laughs> <laughs> after a while, it just starts to hurt. Oh. You for me, at got least. You. But you're saying longer than 20. Yeah. Or like, especially if it's the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. I'm like, bro, I'm like getting bored. Yeah. Yeah, what yeah, if, what yeah. What if he's switching up, though? Like different like positions and stuff like that. Oh, I could go for hours. What positions are you talking about? 
Um, <laughs> hours? <laughs> well, hours? Hours? Well, I hear that. They're me up right now. <laughs> <laughs> hours? Yeah. Do you guys know how long like lesbian porn what the fuck goes? What that? What just happened? You hear that? It's probably my foot like slipping. An, oh, I thought there was like a dog like scratching at the door. I was like, <laughs> it's it's oh fucking dog. It's Christine's dog scratching at the carpet. <laughs> that was weird. I, I thought I heard that. Wait, what are you lesbian? Lesbian weird. sex can go for hours. Oh, I thought hours. you were talking about. Okay, I thought you said t- okay. Hours. Yeah, but I could go for hours. Yeah. Hours. Yeah, How if he's good hours. enough. Hours. Hours. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> hours as in two hours or three hours? Cause three hours, think about it. It's a long time. The longest time I had sex for was for four hours. Non-stop. We're talking wow. non-stop. <laughs> yeah. What was that guy doing? <laughs> Crack. <laughs> yeah, that guy had to have been off something. <laughs> was he off something? Crack. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, he, one round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one round for four hours. Ain't no way, boy. Okay, wait. Can I honestly know the positions that were thrown in there? <laughs> yeah. Because that is wild. Okay, yeah. What if you only hit like two positions <laughs> yeah. for like two hours? You had no idea. What if What if I'm doing the same two positions, but I'm rotating in every five minutes, though? Like, I, I, I it's like, <laughs> okay. It's, I, okay. Set like a timer. <laughs> I set like a timer and I rotate her every five minutes. Like a chicken. Like a chicken. <laughs> like a rotisserie chicken. Oh I'm rotating her. It's just missionary and dog. <laughs> Those are the only two I know. <laughs> Yo, I'm dead ass. I'm so dead ass right now. I need to know. I need to know more than like five positions. I need to know more than okay, five. Wait, wait, wait. Before we start, like before you we start, don't before know we start. five. Before we start, before we start, I need, I need to know more than before five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can, can the guys name all the positions we know? And can okay. you name like the ones that you know? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna. You want to go like? You want to go just like? Not I really. have a slight advantage though because my boyfriend and I literally were looking at the Kama Sutra yesterday. Oh, dude! I, the what? The book? The Kama Sutra. It's like a sex yeah, book. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck it is that? It tells you like sex dude, positions. Dude, there's like so many in there. It's called the Kama Sutra. Mm-hmm. It's like an old. Um, I think. I think it's from India. Uh, yeah, I think so. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's some old, like book no that's been way. around for a while. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like a a form of like. I want to say like almost like yoga, like yeah. It's peace, yeah, peace, like yeah. mindfulness together. Yeah, does it have pictures in it? Yeah, um, it does. Yeah. Just look up online. There's like westernized, whitewashed versions really? of it available. Yeah. So is it like pictures and like step by step how how yeah. to like do it? Yeah, or at least the ones that I saw yesterday, they gave like a description. They were like, warning: this can cause physical damage. Oh like my this God. is only for flexible how, people. How, how big is like the book? I don't know. There's like a hun- there's like over a hundred different ways to. See, have that's sex with wild, somebody no 100 okay but okay list the position they got some wild shit they got like the flying jaguar like <laughs> i'm gonna go first then we're just you gonna ever- asshole it's, why are you leaving me a third it's, it's, you don't know three one by one, <laughs> yeah. one, by one? Yeah, yeah, but, no wait no no, no. I, can i pick the order i want to hear nick's first and then i want to hear his and then i want to hear okay, devin's because well, devin's gonna- in a, a relationship so that's different that's true, that's are we gonna do like one at a time yeah, though should like, i be speaking okay, on this okay, if i'm in a relationship you can no you can just say like the ones that you know though okay. not the ones that you've done but uh the other thing i was gonna say is it has to be like it has to do the act like it can't be like a bj or like yes 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 yeah, 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 yeah. the 69 count no fuck i think i i think <laughs> i don't know that many though. <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna start with <laughs> missionary <laughs> like, that was my fourth one <laughs> uh <laughs> i'll just say doggy then uh cowgirl reverse cowgirl <laughs> are we really throwing that in there are we th- we're throwing those okay we're doing reverses then yeah, yeah. reverse, reverse doggy, doggy. doggy. <laughs> <laughs> yo Reverse oh. doggy. <laughs> what? I didn't think that part either. What? I didn't think that part. Go, go, go. Fuck, bro. <laughs> Fuck. The fucking uh, side to side. I was, I was gonna say, what do you call that? Like, I, oh, 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 you know what I'm saying? I like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Oh, they got oh, excited. Oh. Okay. No, I'm just gonna say it. Okay. You know when they're like they're laying down. Wait, you're talking to your mic. Talking. To your oh, mic. okay. They're laying. <laughs> they're laying down. The legs are like this. Like. Oh, this, prone. This Prone, prone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Prone. I play Call of Duty when you're flat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that that when you're crawling at Call of Duty. It intrigues me, but I've never done it before. It's actually I like it. Wait, no, I think I would wait, love it. Her being flat. She's pr- oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's prone. Like she's literally just like. Okay, th- this my phone is hurt. Okay, she's just flat, and hurt. she spreads her legs. Her legs are just right there. Why are you and stroking it? <laughs> <like that? laughs> she's right there. 
<laughs> can't look at this, no, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. taking. No, she's right. Okay, look. Okay, these are her legs. These are her legs. This is, he's making he's making it way too complicated, bro. Yeah, that's stop, awesome. stop rubbing them. <laughs> Why are you rubbing them? <laughs> I don't know. I'm showing you what they are. Okay, okay, wait. Let me you know try. She's just let me laying try, out. Let me try. Let me try. Wait, so this is her her body yeah. and her legs are pushed back this way. Dude, yeah, is it? She's she just laying down. I'm not looking at the phone. <laughs> it's like, just like that. <laughs> they're using fingers now, Devin. Yeah, it's like that. Not, not, they're oh, not, they're okay, not that, okay. they're not that spread out. They don't have to be that spread you're, out. You're, you're like just on top. We're just of her. on top. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. planking. Yeah, yeah, she's planking. Yeah, yeah. Almost planking, but she's, she's not like in a plank though. She's just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? She's in a plank. That would be gnarly. That would be crazy. So, that's okay, the so best so two minutes prone. of your life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's that's four. Go ahead, your turn. I literally said prone. Oh, okay. wait, no, that was mine. No, I said it for you because you're. No, 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 that's mine though. Okay, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna call it the airplane when the legs are in the air. Yeah, that works. Okay. Yeah. Or like the L? With the legs are in the air. Because the girl kind of makes <laughs> like the an L. L. Wait, pause. The L? What the fuck like is the an L? the girl kind of makes an L. Are you talking when she's on her back and her legs are in there? Like on the shoulders. Yeah, like yeah, an yeah, L. Yeah, yeah. She makes an L. That's what you meant by legs, that's what you meant by legs in the air. Like, uh, oh, there's a song about it. I forgot what song it is, but... Why are you making that face? Because Nick's never on, done that on position. Your, on your, that shit looks like a V, not an L. Well, she's like laying flat on her back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Usually it's that position is like you're standing up at the edge of the bed. I'm fucking sorry. I, I failed preschool. Cause I didn't know my shapes. That's why I got held back a year. That's why I'm older than all these motherfuckers. My fucking bad, Christine. Can I give you a little backstory? Yeah. That's so sad. When I got questioned in kindergarten for my ABCs, I started counting. Oh my what god! Mean you started counting. <laughs> <laughs> One, One, two, two three, three, four. And she was looking at it because it's very vivid. She was looking at me like, so what they do? They put you on with the? <laughs> no, no, I don't, I, they can't. I'm in private school. <laughs> oh, they had to pass you. They had to pass they you. Passing, bro. See, now it's making sense. Oh, see, ask me about my ABCs. What One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, oh, fuck. I was going to say some shit right now about the ABCs. I ate three roly polies in kindergarten. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Anyways. Um, okay, now, uh, is it my turn? I got I to gotta hit another one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say... Okay, I'm, I'm going to keep it 100% with you guys. I'm going to keep it a buck. I think that's all I know. That's all I know. I didn't know even know prone until you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> and I just guessed on that because it's fucking... I'm going to keep it a buck. Uh, that's four. We literally just named four. That could be the plank for all I know. I don't even. I could do all those for one hour. <laughs> no, I'm not doing all those for one hour. You know. <laughs> um. Well, like. I I genuinely don't know. I don't know <laughs> anymore. Let <laughs> me really think, man. It's been a long time. Uh. I don't know like names. Yeah, there aren't really names for it. It's more of like. Can you think of one? Can you think of like flying Adam? crocodile? <laughs> Oh God! Can you think of one? Like, can you give me a visual? Paint, paint a picture for me, Devin. Paint a picture with words. There's where the girl is on her stomach and the guy's on top behind her. Isn't that prone? It's prone. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. There's no, side to side. Nice. When you do backflip, what about when you do the front flips? <laughs> <laughs> You can do like back to chest or chest to chest. Back to chest. Back to chest. <laughs> I can't picture yeah, like really small strokes though. You're behind. Bro, you don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> you do not need to fuck her with your whole dick. Sometimes let her ride you. <laughs> no, in the guy's in the guy's perspective though, that's what we think. We think of like, <laughs> like doing it like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> What is wrong with you guys, bro? <laughs> no, that's, oh, all, that's what we think of as small, again. like you know what I mean. That as, is true. No, not as small. That is true. But it's different when it goes like doing their thing when it's Don't like small. Don't do any jackhammering. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Here it comes. I hate. I hate all those fucking words for like all of this shit, bro. Like someone actually thought of this and called it a jackhammer. Yeah, that's funny. And it's so perfectly like worded it, too. Yeah. yeah. Like that really paints a picture. Fuck. Okay. I mean, unless she's like asking you to do it, like that's usually not very desirable. Okay. And you're saying that in this four hour roller coaster that you had, he was hitting you with more than the four we just named. Well, yeah. And like it wasn't exactly penis and vagina sex the whole time. Mm. Pick, pickle and jar, buddy. This is a family friendly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on. What are we pickle doing? Pickle and jar sex right, the whole time. But how about, okay, so was there hot dog in the bun or was it just pickle and jar? Or was there like some like there numbers? Was, he was around. using his hands, his mouth. It oh, was okay. like everything toys. Okay, okay, like okay. it, it just went on for hours. And you're telling me you guys were not off of anything? No, 
We were actually pretty sleep deprived. It was no like 4 a.m. in the no morning. No drink or anything? No. Nothing. Mm-mm. No Viagra. <laughs> he was stressed, like studying for his MCAT. And I just come over and. Damn. Yeah, he was like, I'm a little stressed out. I was like, okay. And he's like, um, can we have sex for a while? And I was like, sure. A while? Yeah. And a while to me, a while to me is like 45 minutes. <laughs> well, <laughs> not four, four when fucking he hours. finally came, it had been four hours. Jesus Christ. He, yeah. What the f- Damn, that man was stressed out of his mind. Well, he also just loved, like, making me finish. Mm, okay. Damn. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, okay. So you're saying 20 minutes is, like, on average. 20 to 30 minutes, I feel like, with all the foreplay involved. Okay. 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 Is foreplay usually is usually, like... That's my specialty. Foreplay is so important. That's that's where my four hours come in. Yeah, <laughs> bro. If you do that for a girl, you'll have her wrapped around your finger. I'm dead serious. Damn. Where's my girlfriend at? Anyways, um, <laughs> how many how many positions are you throwing in there in that in that twenty to thirty minute range? Like three positions. Okay. Okay. Are they like the same like every time though? The same three? Is there like one that's always incorporated? Missionary is always incorporated. Of course, of course. I feel like that, is that not always the first position that everybody goes into or am I driven? Sometimes I start on top. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. It, yeah. Have you ever started like not looking at them though? Or like, you know, like reverse cowgirl, like dog or something <laughs> like that? Have you, has it ever, have you guys ever had something start like that? I've never had something start like that. I have, yeah. I've had sex with a guy without kissing him. I think I already said oh, that yeah, before. Oh yeah, you told me about that. Okay. So I can have sex without looking at him. Okay. So you're saying, okay, so you're saying missionary is there. Missionary's always there. And then, like, I'm usually on top at one point. Got you. Yeah, usually like three positions. Okay. Okay. On average, what are we thinking? Can you answer these questions, Devin? What? On average, what do you think guys think is like a good amount of time? Oh, good amount of time? Yeah. What's like what's like like average for you? Like doing the deed? Okay. Like before you answer that question, is it really like some guys really can't last mm-hmm. that long? I'm gonna tell you right now, if I'm extremely horny, I'm trying not to come <laughs> in like two minutes, bro. <laughs> I'm not even cat. You know I'm not Kevin. I know you're not Kevin. I'm 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 on I'm on stages. I'm on stages. This is a guy thing. Like we're very like, we're so like in it. Like we're like oh like, and it's just like the feeling. Okay, because look, I don't know how masturbating feels for you guys. Is Mm -hmm. that a weird word we use? Let's use choking the chicken. Oh wait, no, that wouldn't work for ladies. Let's use uh flicking the bean. Flicking the bean, yeah. Okay, flicking the bean for you. You know what? I'm gonna make like a list, like a <laughs> script, and I'm gonna keep it at your guys' like hand so you guys know which words okay, to use. So flicking the bean for you probably feels different for me from spanking the it monkey. Does. You know what I mean? Yes. So what? Like, <laughs> for what? Spanking the monkey? <laughs> That's weird. That's weird. <laughs> what do you do to your what? A monkey, man. What is spanking? Your little John? <laughs> you don't know? You never heard that before? Spanking the monkey. I have the monkey. never heard that before. Are you serious? Why would you spank him? Because he's a naughty yeah. little boy. Yes, I never really thought about that, but I've heard that before for a long time. I know. Okay, okay. So, okay, so look, it probably feels way different for you guys. Like, you yes. guys like, get the actual feeling of like skin to skin going in there. You know what I mean? In a way. In yes, a way. yes. But we don't get that. You know what I mean? We get the closest thing it gets our hand. And it's not very, it doesn't feel the same as a vagina, obviously. A lot of girls cannot come from a penis or from mm. a pickle in your jar i feel like that too yeah yeah, yeah. Most yeah. Definitely. so yeah, like yeah, yeah. girls need a lot of extra help flicking the mane yes flicking yes. the bean. that's where it comes into play okay, yes, yes, yes yes okay okay has the guy ever like actually flicked flicked it <laughs> <laughs> like where does that shit actually no oh god like where does Did that shit actually imagine? come from he's like where, whoa where does that shit actually come from like flicking the bean well i guess you can't is this count as well does it go <laughs> No, Sage, that's very different than this action. I can't sit next to you. <laughs> You've been looking for an excuse to rub things, dude, and it's getting fucking weird, yeah. bro. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm playing, I'm playing. Oh. Okay, no, for real, though. I feel like that's the kind of thing for, like, for guys, it's just our hand. Like, we're not really getting too much. It's pleasure, but it's not, like, as pleasurable as probably as you guys because you guys are way more, like, intimate when you guys are doing that, you know what I mean? Yeah. With yourself. I feel like we can't just do it just to get one off. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're not like doing I'm not honestly when I I started doing it just to be like, okay, maybe I should try to like go longer to see if it if it makes me go longer during sex. You know what I mean? Cause I'm telling you right now, guys go for not even like what are you guys saying? Okay, so if you guys didn't hold it in or didn't wait, 
didn't distract yourself, how fast would it be? I don't even want to answer this I question. Devin, if you, if you feel answer. comfortable, I yeah, want to well, hear I'm your answer. Well, I'm not going to answer. I'm in a relationship. Um, um, yeah. I don't want to distract Like, okay, like if I go in with like, I'm but, just like, oh, wait, next one. <laughs> like, this is all just like for me, like blah, blah. Like I do, I can just finish whenever I want to finish. Are you saying, is yeah. that what you're asking? Yeah. When I want to come. Uh-huh. I'm going, I'm going like under a minute, bro. Yeah. Really? I can do it like under a minute. But I'm gonna, I will say this though, I am lasting on average like 20 minutes probably though. Yeah. On average, yeah. Because there's like other stuff involved. Yeah, and, like, yeah of course. And you're, of you're course, trying to like hold back. Yeah, 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 yeah. No doubt. Under a minute for sure. And I think that's that's definitely most fucking guys. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. Because that's that's like how we, that's how it is in the animal kingdom, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's how it works in the animal that's kingdom. That's literally how y'all, we're literally just. Yeah, like, like legitimately. <laughs> that's just how you're wired. <laughs> I yeah. love this sitting back literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's actually I, it's actually crazy like it, you don't really think about it but girls they're yeah because girls long, it, it takes you know I mean? a it long takes longer. a lot longer because you have to like really be in the zone like yeah. in your head too yeah and like i know a lot of girls don't even watch porn i know i talked about that like last week a little mm -hmm. bit but yeah it's it takes definitely way longer than a minute no i know and i know you guys gotta like put your mind to it too and yeah. like focus and stuff like that no yeah. that's just crazy um what the fuck was the original question guys or you asking about different positions. positions? Oh yeah, so you say okay. So we said you get three thrown in there every twenty to thirty minutes. You're saying missionary is definitely top. Um, which one would you say you're hitting the least? Which position do you probably like the least? Doggy. Like a... Doggy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. And then are we saying? You <laughs> <laughs> Gotta throw doggy in there every time. Gotta throw doggy in there every time. I'm tripping. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ain't tripping, man. <laughs> I know I enjoy it. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. That makes sense. That I mean, that basically answers my question. Unless not mine. That. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> nah. I mean, dude, I really want to read that book though, the the Kama Sutra. Yes. I've only heard about it, and I've seen like pictures of it, but it, it's yeah. it's a whole fucking book. So. I've never heard about that before. It's kind of crazy. crazy. I'm gonna get like the hard copy or something like that. They Ooh, gotta have it on. Should get it laminated yeah. or something. <laughs> Should I get it laminated? I'm gonna keep it right here. A binder in the middle. That'd be fucking wild. Does anyone know who, like, is there, like, a specific author? Like, do they know who, like, specifically read it? I don't know enough about it. Got it. Okay, that either. makes sense. All right, moving on to the next question. We were kind of talking about this last podcast. Um, were you looking for something? No. Okay, we were kind of talking about this last podcast just a little bit. Um, Christine, you brought up how uh, in one of your relationships, you were, like, or, like, how girls usually, like, emotionally detach from relationships, um, like, way before they actually break up. Why do you think, why do you think girls emotionally detach themselves from a relationship way before they break up with their mans? I think personally based off of my experience, it was because I was trying to let the guy down easy. And I know that doesn't really make sense. Yeah. But like, I didn't want to blindside him. Do you know what I'm saying? Because when I was feeling like, oh, I need to break up with him, he was really happy and content with the relationship and he was really happy with how things were going. And I was too scared to just be like, I'm sorry, I can't do this to you. And so I just kind of- Checked out. Checked out and like things slowly began to get worse and he kind of noticed that I checked out. And then that's when he had come to the realization that we should break up. Okay, see, I know that that shit happens a lot with girls. Yeah. Do you just say that that's usually why it's because girls just don't want to... Girls want to, like, let him know that something's going on and then they're, like... It's, like, yeah. ripping off a Band-Aid slow. I think so. And also because I feel like we try to give guys more chances than they, than they deserve. Okay. And guys do the same for girls, too, for sure. But there are a lot of girls that just stay with guys that aren't that great for a long time. Mm -hmm. And it's because they're like, oh, sh he's gonna give me an, like I can give him another chance, like he can change and it doesn't happen. You think guys do that? I was gonna say, I've, I've done that. You've done it before? Was that was it the same reasoning or just like, I kind of just want to like let her down easy? I, I think it was just kind of, uh, I've definitely been in the, not in the, it wasn't a relationship, but at the same time, it wasn't nothing. You know what I mean? So I was like trying to f find a way to make it as easy as possible for me to be like, I just didn't want to say anything. Like, I didn't want to hurt feelings. So I like, I checked out way early and I was just like trying to have her say like, hey, like this, it's not really feeling yeah. 
right here. Would you me. call that self sabotaging? I I couldn't tell you. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't even know if you could say that. That's like dragging the other person along. I mean, it is. It is. But like, it definitely is. But I still liked him. Do you know what I'm saying? I was just like, this relationship isn't gonna go anywhere. I definitely care. For Does the that person. make sense? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I still want to call it dragging the person along though, because they're still I'll you're still because they're still gonna be putting in the time and like like for example, right? If um I was dating a girl and same exact scenario like she was starting to check out and stuff like that and i kept trying and i kept trying and during this time when i kept trying and i it's kept worrying me blah blah, blah like maybe she's gonna break up with me maybe things are gonna get better I, i'm not gonna lie i'm more of a rip the band-aid fucking fast type of person yeah. i'd rather her be like you know what like i'm not happy right now blah blah, blah. like da, da 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 like tell me that i'm like okay fine like we don't need to do this right now take some time on our own space if you want space, space. I'd rather do that break up than like me worrying that things aren't going the right way. And I don't I don't know where things are headed now. You know what I'm saying? I would much rather a girl do that than emotionally detach from me and me just seeing the relationship slowly wither away. Meanwhile, she knows like way before that she's gonna break up with me. No, for sure now I do think that. I yeah, don't think I would do that anymore. I yeah, would not do that anymore. I wouldn't sure either. Not. Yeah. But when I was younger, I definitely did think that way because i was like i don't want to hurt him i was like it's not gonna really like bother me much to continue being in a relationship with him it's not gonna weigh on me so i was like whatever i'll just stick it out would you say it's kind of selfish because like in, in I, your guys opinion, i don't think we like, realize it but yeah. it is in a way yeah because i know i know i know that what you guys were doing you like in your mind i think i think you agreed you was just like it was like letting down someone like easier but it is also selfish to be like, yeah, fuck you. This relationship isn't working like out of nowhere and blindside them. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, real quick, real quick. Like Sage, it. back the fuck up from the mic. I'm sorry. Yeah, I keep hearing you. <laughs> go ahead, no, no. Go, 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 go. Um, but yeah, that's, that was it. Like, you don't want to just tell them out of nowhere, you know? That, I think, is is worse is that is that where it came from though like out of nowhere you just woke up one morning though and we're like nah i'm just not into him i don't think that's how it nah, works though i don't think so it might have been. it's it has been that way for me before and it hasn't you've woken up and been like ah, yeah ah, like blah blah it wasn't like from an argument or he did something it's like same thing as like one morning i just woke up and i realized i was over my ex mm, damn yeah it just kind of like that's scary it's we it's a weird feeling I don't know if, if you guys have ever felt that before. No, I definitely never felt that. Oh. Like just woken up and like falling like... I think I kind of fell in the first place. And I thought I was like... <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe in a sense too, it was like... I'm not really too invested at one time. I don't know. What are you saying, man? What? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> <There you are. laughs> Wait, um, I forgot what I was in. Uh, Devin's going in. crazy. Yeah, I know you were. Do you want like a fidget toy or something like that, buddy? Or yeah, what? that's what I'm looking for. Uh, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for my fish yeah. spinner. That's a bottle cap. Oh, thanks, man. I'm here. Bottle cap to Corona for me. <laughs> my you favorite. Play, you can play with this, too. Oh, sweet. I'm sorry, buddy. Wally. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm sorry about that. Uh, you said you weren't emotionally invested. Uh, or you weren't invested. Uh, Don't look at me anymore. He's dancing. <laughs> How, how do you how do you feel about people that emotionally detach from a relationship before like way before they won't actually break up with somebody? I mean, it's understandable in a way that you don't want to hurt them mm -hmm. like that. But at the same time, it's kind of like I agree with you kind of doing them dirty. Yeah. You're kind of like lying to them. Yeah. That's, yeah. In my opinion, I think it's I think it's yeah, it's lying and it's like leading somebody on. Um I would say it's a little self-centered. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little self-centered. Yeah, oh, yeah definitely. definitely. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I see both sides to it, Loki. I know it shouldn't be that way, but at the same time, it's like, you know how hurt they'll be, so it's better off if like they detach from you, right? That's the point you're making. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I do see that point, but at the same time, it shouldn't be where you, if you're dating somebody, it shouldn't have to get to the point where you have to lie to them. In order to like end it in peace. No, yeah, that's why I, I, it was never somebody that I was dating. It was just like talking. Ah, if 
his talking and stuff like that, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say it's okay. I'm going to say it's okay, yeah. yeah. I'm going to say it's okay. I'm just because, like, I'd be ghosting people, so yeah, yeah. I'm going to say it's okay. I don't, I, I don't know. God, I fucking hate ghosting. But, like, ghosters. dating, though. I'm not going to ghost you for dating. Okay. I'd be go- I do be ghosting, though. I still be ghosting. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty bad. I think I have to go see a therapist. <laughs> is that the answer, though, Nick? This is where you insert your better help ad. <laughs> better help. Actually, I think we do have a better help ad coming. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in now. <laughs> Thank you, better help, for sponsoring this podcast. Life can be overwhelming, and many people are burned out without even knowing it. Symptoms can include lack of motivation, feeling helpless, trapped, detachment, fatigue, and more. For me, sometimes I feel kind of burned out when I have a very stressful week of editing, as well as when I was in school and I had to also complete projects and homework on time. I think that is very important for people to take time to themselves, especially when they're starting to feel a little burnt out. We associate burnout with work, but that's not the only cause. Any of our roles in life can lead us to feel burned out. And BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to prioritize yourself. Talking with someone can help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. So as we've expressed in past podcasts, a couple of our friends have gone through very serious stuff in their life, and they have used therapy to help them, and they told us that it has actually helped them a lot. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you do not want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Suburb Talks listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash Rancho Boys. That's better, H-E-L-P dot com slash Rancho Boys. Other than that, guys, please enjoy the rest of this podcast. Damn, that's actually great. That was, that was perfect because we, we actually did get a better help ad. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's that is fucking crazy. Did that basically, you, you guys done talking? Like, mm-hmm. Do you guys have anything else to say? Okay, next question of the night. Um, do you guys think it's a red flag if somebody says that all their past exes were toxic? <laughs> like that's their excuse? Oh, excuse? Or not excuse, no, nah, not even excuse, but just like if you, they. I guess in a way it is an excuse. If I'm, I'm, I mean, no. It's, or is it just, you know what, before I that? I don't know. Uh, is it a red flag if, if you, like, you ask somebody about not it? not a red flag. I feel like they just use a lot of like things correlating to that. Like using, how would you say, excuses in a way? They would, they would say it you know, as say an like, excuse. Oh, well, he did that. Or like almost in a way kind of compare you to them when they don't mean to. But that's the only thing that they know. Comparing when they don't mean to. You know what I'm trying to say? No. Like, they only know circumstances that fall under that, and they don't know any good ones, so they can, like, just go back to that. Is it, <coughs> like, their expectations that they put on you are different? Like, they don't think, like, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I, I don't know. What do you think? Repeat the question. <laughs> do you think it's a red flag if somebody says that all, like, if someone you're talking to says that all their past exes were toxic? I'm saying it's a red flag. I'm saying it's a red flag. It, it could easily be. I'm saying it's However, definitely a red flag. Oh fuck, that's tricky. Yeah. Or like or like the same thing when a guy says like oh like his pat all his past girlfriends were crazy. I think that's oh, also a red flag. It's a it's a big red flag for me when a guy says it. When a girl says it, I'm like, okay, I need to hear about it. But when a guy's like, oh, all my past exes were fucking crazy, I'm like oh, really? Like, what happened? And he'll be like, oh, she just, like, drove me crazy. She, like, blew up my phone all the time. And I was like, yeah, because I bet you were never, like, texting her. Like, you were not doing the bare minimum that she was asking for you in the relationship. Damn. Yeah, I just think it's, And like, that's usually what it is. Sorry, it's got to be super scarce to realistically have everyone you've dated be fucking be, crazy. Be crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. If you, everyone that you've dated is toxic. I think it has to do with you. You had a problem. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, let's let's be real. Like I, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I saw this question. And I was like, if all of your past exes were toxic or all your past girlfriends were crazy, something's not right here. Yeah. The crazy one when because when dude every time a dude says that their past girlfriend was crazy, it's I always I always felt like it the dude like I just was roll doing my eyes. Yeah, sus or something weird yeah. because like if you say one past like ex was crazy, yeah. I can believe that. Like every past ex was crazy, or like you had one bad toxic relationship. Every relationship was toxic though. It's like yeah. I'm gonna start saying it's a little bit you, or like you going after a specific type of person. Yeah. Yeah, which means that you need to look That's at yourself point. still. You going after a specific type of person yeah. too. I would. I. I don't know. Like I can. I think all my exes are crazy, but none of them were like actually crazy. Only one of them was. 
but you know i say that loosely like all my exes are crazy because some of them were fucking like just weird you know they had like weird things no offense guys that you guys are into so it's like my feet yeah yeah that's weird yeah one guy really liked my feet like king julian type shit (laughs) like (laughs) king julian thank you your feet yeah that's fucking wild i've never based on a true story (laughs) holy shit based on real life experience that's happened more than once why why is that wild because that's like crazy oh Next into feet, I think. Like, oh, extremely. <laughs> what do you mean extremely? Dude, you, oh, never you mention feet, you go. Because it's fucking, dude. Because talking about feet is funny. Like, you're thinking good scene, bro. Feet is a little, f- a little bit of uh, half and half. Anyways, next question. <laughs> uh, next question. Do you think it's valid if your current boyfriend or girlfriend wants you to unfollow all of your exes? No. No. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna just ask, I'm gonna ask that first and I'm gonna follow up. You're saying no? Mm-mm. What do you think? Say that again? Do you think it's valid if all if your current boyfriend or girlfriend wants you to follow unfollow all your past exes? I don't have an ex. Well just like taking like an outside point of view. Let's say my girlfriend I don't know, dude. That's hard. Let's say my girl I don't have any exes, fuck. <laughs> let's say let's say fucking I don't either. Shit, I don't have an let's on say it. uh Sage's current girlfriend wants him to unfollow like his past exes. Do you think it's valid? Sage's girl wants Sage to follow his... his unfollow his past exes. Unfollow his past exes. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, why are you guys saying no? Or or would you... I, if she, I, I don't know. I that's don't. fine, that's fine. If she said... Like, if she told you, like, unfollow... Or, like, he told you, unfollow your past exes... Would you guys be, like, why or, like, nah? I would definitely say why. Because yeah. I never had an ex that gave me a problem. And I'd be, like... Uh, oh fuck I forgot I feel like if you hit them I feel like if you hit them with like a why I don't even think that it would really matter if I hit them with a why though because they don't have like a reason for me to like I never true even reach out to my ex to do anything like that or like what if they see that happy birthday DM though I'm saying bro that's I I, I I even say happy birthday I didn't say happy birthday this year so I don't think (laughs) he learned it he learned it but I just forget bro like I don't know oh no I think I'd probably Uh no I didn't actually I, I know it's just like what was I gonna say? Fuck, it was good. Damn. That sucks. I don't know. Do no, you have an answer for that? Huh? Do you have an answer for that? Or it's, is well, it different because you don't have an ex either? Well, like, I do and I don't. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, no, I do and I, I don't. I was so close. Hold okay, on. Wait, wait, okay. Think about it. Like, oh, literally, dude, close, close your ears. I don't think we can talk right now. Okay, fine. Okay. Don't laugh. Oh, okay. You know what? You know what's crazy, though? Are you ever like, okay, I don't know. Christine, can you tell me if you've ever done this? It's okay. okay. Just say it. Yes, I've licked feet. Okay. No. Oh, Dude, oh my <laughs> God, bro. Um, are we what? Are we more what? Are we more what? You know when girls are like, okay, like, okay so you're saying this on, on, on our standpoint, right? Okay, so have you ever been with somebody that's been like, like, oh, block them? Or like, uh, maybe not even block them or hasn't been in that, said anything like that, but they're like, oh, this guy keeps texting me. I'm like, well, just block them. Yes. Yes. Right? 100%. Like, okay. Yeah. Like, have you, you've been in that situation. Yes. And it's like, what do you mean? You're not going to block it? You know yeah. what I mean? I've always thought of that situation. I'm like, why does that even happen? Like, I don't understand anybody's standpoint of being like, why am I not going to block this person? I'm going to complain about them a lot. I yeah. fucking hate when girls bring up like a guy that's texting them and they're like, why the fuck does this guy texting me? Like, this guy's I'm so like, weird. Oh. I'm like, fuck texting them and i'm like I'll, I'll literally be sitting there and i'll just be like i'll literally be like watching like something and i'll be like i'll oh, just block him and she'll be like no i'm just gonna tell him to leave me alone <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> what the fuck does that do hey what the fuck did next time i'm with her she's texted him yeah. i'm like yo see that's that's how i that's how i got played that's that's, that's how i got played i will tell you that that's that, that's uh that's how i got played i literally said that those exact that is a great fucking point i literally brought up i was like just block him yeah, I'm just going to tell them leave me alone. Yeah. They never, that's not what they're texting. They're sending nudes. They're sending nudes and they're talking about getting <laughs> married. And they're talking about getting married, guys. Please don't say that. I'm telling you now. Please don't they, say I'm that. telling you now. They're texting locations. They're telling each other they love each other. I'm telling you guys. Oh, God. If a girl, if you tell, some, if a girl's complaining about a guy and you tell her to block him and then she doesn't block him. Damn, who hurt you, bro? 
You know who. I know who. You're making me second guess right now. You guys all know exactly who. <laughs> I know. It was tough times, guys. It was tough times. No, that should do irritate me, though. Yeah. I, I realized, too, the only exes that I have blocked are the ones that I was like, okay, I'm not going to be able to hold myself back from texting him, so I'm going to block him. Or they're fucking weird and they won't leave me alone. I'm blocking him. The other exes, it's been like, okay, we broke things off. And then it was like no contact. Mm -hmm. So we kind of just like mutually decided to like ignore each other on social media for a little bit. Like we didn't send each other any texts. And then now it's like once in a while they'll swipe up on my story and be like, oh, where's this restaurant? Like that's a really cool place. Like I want to take a date here. I'm like, oh, it's just this place. And then I do the same thing to him. It's like we just get food recommendations off each other. Okay. I have two things. One, the one thing. Uh, I heard that if a girl, or like if you ever want to know who a girl is emotionally vulnerable, yeah, whoever a girl is emotionally vulnerable for, you should check her blocked list. Yeah. Yeah. I heard that if you're a man, men, men, tap in right now. If you're a man, do not go snooping through. If a girl's you're a phone, man though. and you want to know which guys your girlfriend is emotionally vulnerable for, they're in her block list. What exactly does that fall into, though? Oh wait, wait. You, you could cut this out if you want, but like, <clears throat> leave it actually, here. I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 I don't know what I was gonna ask you. My abusive I, I was, ex was, was blocked, a, so that is like. Well, okay, what I was saying was. Is he blocked because, or I don't know. See, it it's, it's both. It, I, he I is kinda, your ex, so he would be blocked. Yeah, but. I, I, under, I, I feel like I know where your question is going, so I'm just going to answer. It, yeah, I'm just going to answer what I think you're asking, and you tell me if it's right. Yeah. How the fuck does that work? So I have him blocked because, yes, I am still emotionally attached to him, only because of the trauma, mm -hmm. trauma bond. That he's right? left behind. It's mm. like, I don't want to be with him. I absolutely never want to go back to that place again. But a part of me is still really, really hurt by everything that I went through. So because of that, I still have some kind of emotional attachment. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But he's, I also have a block. I, ha I have an ex that's blocked that wasn't abusive. And that's just because. Um, You're emotionally vulnerable no, for him. I, I was just like. No. <laughs> <laughs> when we broke up, I was like, yeah, fuck you. I was really mad at him. And I was like, I didn't want to like text him and be like what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, you broke my heart. So yeah. that's why I blocked him. Is it because him. it ended bad or you just kind of broke your heart? I was a little bit blindsided by it. Okay. Yeah, so I was, like, pretty upset. But you know when you, like, break up with somebody, you can never even do it in, like, an hour? It takes, like, a couple nah, hours a fucking, to break yeah, up with. Yeah. It takes, like, a full day to break up with somebody. So by the time that we had, like, fully broken up, we were, like, I was, like, okay, we're cool. Like, we can yeah. leave this at a good place. But... I knew that the me when I woke up the next day was gonna be fucking mad, so I blocked him. Okay, okay. okay. So yeah, that's like two yeah. different emotions. You did answer my question, right? Okay, okay. Yeah. good. Good. Okay. I, was, I was basically gonna ask like why, yeah, like if that was the reason why. Mm -hmm. yeah. Taking it, taking it to more like general and not so like specific though. Um, what I mean, like, because you said to like what extent, right, or something like that. Yeah, um, yeah. What I'm talking about is like, wouldn't you say like most girls who are blocking guys, they're blocking them because one thing they don't want to see them like having fun. Right, they don't want to see them like out doing stuff. Two, I feel like, or and that could even make a girl want to like. The reason why they're blocking them is because they don't want the urge to text them or like to see them. So I'm saying, I'm saying it's a little toxic stuff like, <laughs> like that. I'm not gonna lie, but if you genuinely do want to see who your girl is emotionally vulnerable for, check her like check her block list. And you're agreeing with me. I would have to say, for the most part, yeah. yes. Out the girlies right don't now. Make yeah. Don't make assumptions. Out the girlies, Out right, the girlies right, right fucking now. And definitely don't go snooping through your girl's phone. Snoop through that shit. Snoop through it. <laughs> no, that's check probably check the to, worst see, thing you check to see if she's telling any guys, leave me alone. Check to see it. It's not real. It's not real. Two. Second. Oh, unless you guys have anything else to add. Um, I was going to no. say on my point of view, like the only pe people that I've blocked would be like somebody that was trying to talk to me or like put a little bit too much on me, like in the sense of trying to get at me if I was talking to somebody uh, yes. or just, I think that's it actually. I don't know. I don't think I've ever had a reason to block somebody. Yeah. Like I've never been 
if if some girl was texting me while I'm with somebody, I'd be like, okay, block them. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's not <laughs> it's not a big deal. I I don't know many guys that be blocking exes unless they're told to block them. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, and in that sense, it wasn't even exes. It was just people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Second question that we can return to the original one. Unless did you have anything else to add? Um, why do you think they be telling the dudes like, oh, why does this guy keep texting me? I don't know. And it, 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 it that's why I'm just mind boggled by it. It's like, do you have man. the answer for that? Yeah, like, why, <laughs> like, like what, what is the point in like telling, what is the point in telling like, me? What the fuck right is she right does it? She fucking does it, bro. What the fuck is the point Chris, of that? Christine, do you do it? <laughs> have you done Not that it? you on the spot. You don't have, have to answer it. I will have kick you. I will kick you off this podcast <laughs> if you've done it before. <laughs> He's like, oh, how dare you? Okay, wait, you you no. might have to cut this part out. Oh, shit. Because Come on, now. Wait, I just now, need now. to know, though. I just need to know. I also need to know, but I also want <laughs> because to Because it was so in. evil why I did it. Come on, come is on. That, is that, that the main intention behind oh. it, though? Like, it's just, like, evil? Yeah. Is it God testing me? Kind of. Like, it was, like... Am I, am I Moses? There was this guy that I really... It was when I was, like, single, like, two years ago. And I was... There was this guy I really liked, but he literally had zero interest in me besides like having sex with me and like i was fine with that because i was still seeing other people <coughs> excuse me <laughs> my voice is gone from <laughs> no same same <laughs> but um i kind of wanted to like make him jealous does that make sense damn but why does why did why did why why did in your mind did that you think that'd make him jealous it made me because jealous he was like are you dead ass? It made me just yeah. Like, okay. After I found what after I found out that like they was like oh, but at the time though it doesn't no, make no, you at jealous. At the time so. I was like at the time I was like you're literally a Neanderthal. Like what are you doing? <laughs> exactly. I'm telling you the answer. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. it, it's it, at the time at the time I'm like you have low IQ. Yeah, like you have a low <laughs> IQ. Oh, no God. dead ass, dead ass at the time. But then I mean eventually I was like Devin, okay. Your face kills me every <laughs> time. <laughs> Every time you have a low yeah. IQ because I'm answering your question, but you are obviously a Neanderthal. Obviously, I, <laughs> no, like I, I didn't know what the point was. I, I was genuinely like, well, you should just block him. She's like, uh, no, I, I'll just tell him to leave me alone. I yeah, like, I did it because I did it because I wanted to make him jealous. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I will say this though. Yeah, for the girl who did say it to me, um, it wasn't somebody who like I was like I did completely like at the time. And it wasn't somebody who I was showing all my time. Like, I was trying to show her that I really did like her. So it makes sense why I guess she would say it to like get me jealous and stuff like that. But yeah, at the time, nah, I was like, you're kind of stupid. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't you just block him? Yeah. But I guess that's not the answer they were looking for. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, now it's making sense. So you're saying like, girls, are you just saying that just to like probably get the guy jealous? Maybe. I, I don't know. In your case, it was though. Yes. In my case, it was. I think sometimes girls just say it too, like just to say it like to share it with somebody out loud mm -hmm. and like you just happen to be the person there i i don't know i i really don't know that's weird and it's like i think girls sometimes <laughs> too weird. the reason that they don't like just automatically block a guy is they want to like let him down easy you know or like not like be so mean to him because he's gonna flip out and call her a bitch you don't know? be mean dude i dude <laughs> that's so head. stupid bro but that's literally what it is because <laughs> but like i could easily block somebody that i've probably known for a little bit that's getting no, in between no, my relationship you know exactly why they ain't blocking him they keeping him on the roster. <laughs> They're keeping him in second string, third string. They're keeping him in fucking reserves. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me with this bullshit. I want to let him down easily. You're keeping him on that fucking notes list. Do not <laughs> lie to me. It's easy. It's okay. easy just to block him. Like when I'm single, if I'm not, <clears throat> if I'm not exclusive to you, I don't give a fuck if that bothers you or not. That's yeah. not my problem. No, yeah, for sure. But I have to say, now that I'm in a relationship, my phone is so dry. Does that make sense? Because yeah. No, no, that that, sh that should be how it is. Yeah, cuz I literally only text my boyfriend and like my best friend and then it's like my family and then right. you guys sometimes pop up. Mm -hmm. And then like before when I was single, it's like just random names and I'm like, okay, like I good for these guys too that understand like oh, Don't she's on the table. <laughs> Good for these guys too, I guess, for not reaching out to me when I do have a boyfriend. Yeah. Does that make sense? Because yeah. they haven't ever really given me a reason to block them. Mm -hmm.
that too is why I guess I don't really block a lot of people is they don't give me a reason to do that. You know what I've, I've found like kind of strange though? I feel like when a girl tells their mans like, uh, hey, block this person. There's not much of a fight put up. But if a guy tells a girl to block somebody, I feel like there's more of a fight. Oh, for sure. Why? Because it, it, it just makes you think like, why don't you want to block them? Yeah, like why? Do you and it makes me want to get a reason, but they never get a reason. Yeah. Why, why do you, you think know, that I, is? I've never actually had a girl block somebody that I've told them to block. Really? Have they always put up a fight? It's always like the, oh, just tell them to leave me alone. Yeah. Or like the, why would I do that? Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to lie. And I was, also, I haven't asked. I've never really even asked that. But like the times that I have, you yeah. know what I mean? It's never been. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie. I feel like more often girls be like having dudes like lined up or like having dudes like oh if this doesn't really work out like they're thinking like long term you know they're thinking like backup plan and stuff like that i feel like guys maybe it's just because we're not that smart like we don't be thinking that far so that's why i feel like when I, like a girl does ask us to block somebody's kind of like okay fine i'll just I block them that. i don't think it's not long term because i'm thinking that i'm gonna be with them for no no no, no. when i mean long term i'm thinking they're thinking long term like oh if this doesn't work out with this guy i have this guy that's what i mean long term do you think that as a guy though? If I'm like talking to somebody, everything <laughs> kind of. You're not asking. Like, wait, what do wait, you mean? Like if you're if you're with somebody, are you thinking like, hey, this probably isn't gonna work in the long term. I'm gonna keep this person, so I wouldn't block them. No. Okay. But you're saying but that you, you think girls that. do I that? I think girls do do that. I think most girls do that. If not all girls, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like girls already know who's next up, like after so and so. Like that's why, and that's why when a guy brings up. A, like block this dude she's like oh no or she's like reluctant to because like the, he might be next up you know what i'm saying and he uh, and the guy might even know it though it might be a stretch but i feel like i i've heard it a couple times too she's also not saying anything she's I, also not saying anything. <laughs> i have also heard that yeah yeah before have you done that before i have not because when i'm in a relationship i'm like this is why i like you all in yeah, when I'm single, I'm a fucking whore. But like, okay. well, <laughs> alone, okay, like, you should no. probably not say <laughs> that. No, come on, let me leave that in. That's okay, okay, funny. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me let me reiterate myself. When I'm single, like, <laughs> I'm a free bird. Yeah, I'm a free bird. I literally don't give a fuck about anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, once you said that, free. you said that just fucking balls <laughs> out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm actually I feel like people think my, my body count is like really high but it's God. really not wait wait I had, I had something I was gonna uh, say we're talking about oh. girls lining up guys and stuff like that like lining up guys for like who's next up type stuff um, but yeah. oh yeah you were asking me if I have ever done that yes no I don't do that okay would you say that you come across a lot of girls that have or like your girlfriends do they do that not a lot okay Maybe you know what? Maybe I'm I'm probably making an assumption. You just had a bad experience. Yeah, yeah. I told you it was a stretch, man. I've been hurt. I'm sorry, but also, can we take a break? Yeah, let's take a quick break, real quick. Yeah, it's passing out. Right now. Oh, you know what? Uh, you know what my dad told me yesterday, what? or what? I think it was yesterday. So I was telling Devin the same thing about the girl that was like, kind of like like messing with me. So I found myself getting back into the mode of of being like uh, not telling them, kind of more just like put it away and then not even say anything like kind of just leave it how it is like whatever karma's gonna get him you know what i mean yeah yeah like that he was like that's not good sage and i was like what did you just say to me what I, was like, that mean? I was like what and then he's like yeah man you gotta get your closure and i was like oh fuck honestly bro cl closure is like a real thing no i know but i tell everybody that but i i don't even take my own advice you know what i mean that's like, why I tell oh, you to get yeah, closure. I like, Dude, I was like, fuck, maybe I should. But right now, I'm like, maybe I should. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just like, fuck that shit. Have you gotten closure with, like, girls in the past? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, before, before, like, back then? Yeah. Nah, I would just be like, I'm done. Before, like, I would say, like, recently, since I've only fucking talked to, like, two girls in the past, like, three years, I think I have. But... Right now, I'm just like, fuck it. Like, I don't even need it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm clo Closure's a weird thing. Yeah. I, like, sometimes closure just helps by realizing, like, how much of a piece of a shit the other person was. That's what I wanted to say. You know what I mean? Man, sometimes you don't want closure because yeah, you might miss them. Because I'm just like, nah. I think I'm more just like, I want them to know, like, oh, you fucking, you like, fucked you up. fucked up. You fucked up. But they don't even realize it. But I want, like, karma to just get them even worse. But maybe it doesn't even get them. You know what but I mean? Karma, karma can still come if you get closure. 
Yeah. No, yeah, for sure, for sure, for yeah. sure. But so why not why not get two wins? It's true, but I don't know if I want to take the time out of my day. You See, but I mean? like, okay, but like the only times I would say closure comes into play is like when you're constantly thinking about them yeah. after y'all like finish stuff. And if you're going to bed thinking about them and blah, 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 I think that's where closure comes into play. But like, yeah, yeah. But I think closure really just is so that you can realize like what how much of a piece of shit the other person was or like what they're missing out on. I think that's why a lot of people get closure. But anyways, um, time back in into the blocking, the if it's valid. Okay, so then original question. You guys said no, it's not valid if your current boyfriend or girlfriend wants you to unfollow your exes. Yes. You're saying no, it's not valid. Yes, but... If they have a good reason for like... let No, let's just say like you guys are talking one night and you brought up the fact that your ex was Chris. Blah, blah, blah. And then a month later, I don't know, two months later, he finds out that you're following this guy named Chris and he's like, yo, isn't this an ex? And you're like, yeah. He's like, why are you so, why are you so following him? I'm like, unfollow him. That's weird. Oh, I would be upset. Actually, yeah. I agree with Sage. I would be upset. But like, especially if... Sage. <laughs> especially if like we don't even talk to each other like i'm not even liking his posts then i guess it's like why would i even be following him but it's also like this is a person that i spent a lot of my time with so like i i would i want to stay like updated on their life like i want to see that they're still doing good things and that they're doing well does that make sense no yeah, i definitely do see that that's that's the kind of person i am yeah not, like i don't want to just completely shut you out even if i had that's, that's the thing I've never had a bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's so an ex you're like, fond of, though. You guys are talking yeah, about an yeah. ex you're fond of, though. Well, I already don't follow my exes that I don't like. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. What if um, your current boyfriend or girlfriend wants you to block or, yeah, yeah, block or unfollow like a sneaky link, like a past sneaky link? Do you think that's valid? And, and that would you say, like, yeah, okay, fine. Like, I'll, I'll unfollow them or I'll block yeah. them? Yeah. Okay. Why was your take? I don't know. What if you're not texting them anymore? You was fucking. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, also exactly. reasonable though. Also reasonable if you don't text them. I guess. What do you think? I didn't have a sneaky link. I don't know. Dude, you don't. It doesn't need to be related to you though. Know. It could just be well, that's like what I relate my answers to. You don't, you don't have to relate it to you though. Uh, yeah. No. I mean, I I wouldn't care if it's yeah. just a sneaky link. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I don't need to go. To, yeah. I'm trying to think of my situation I would, too. Like, what is your defense in that? If your your significant yeah, other you wants you to, to ah, you, block, got, you, got, you got me there. Yeah. How are you yeah. gonna argue that? But we had sex. <laughs> like, yeah. no. You lose. Yeah. What if they're your friend? You already fucked up by having them as a sneaky link. <laughs> it's not a friend no more. It's a sneaky link. Yeah. I think that I think that's honestly how it works, bro. Like, if you have a friend and then you smash. Yeah. Don't don't do that. I, I, even even then, I would just say like that friend is now classified as like a sneaky link. I'm not gonna lie. Like, well, it, I, could, I it, to say it, it could also classify as not being like that. If it happened once, maybe. But if it was reoccurring, I think that friend has become a sneaky link, and I think that's yeah. how they're labeled from now on. Mm -hmm. If if I'm being honest. Yeah. True. Um, guys, we actually like. I think we got an hour eight, and then we had like what an extra ten from like. Before when we were talking about the Kama Sutra and stuff like that, or were we talking about Kama Sutra? How much should we do? You like, do you like one how more much question? Were we talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? We could do one more question. Well, the um, audio also cut out a lot of the ten minutes. Mm, we can do one more question. We can keep this one short since it's just the four of us. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Don't look at my fucking questions, Devin. God. Can I pick a question? No. Let's have a pick a question. I didn't even want to pick a question anyway. Yes. <laughs> you can go from the top. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, bottom. don't go bottom. Bottom are the ones that I don't really want to ask. Do you want a gummy bear? Uh, oh, just green? Yeah. Strawberry? <laughs> I don't want gummy bears. Mm -hmm. It's oh, just the wow. green ones. Is green good? Mm-hmm. And my favorite. Strawberry? Honestly, I don't even know if they... Strawberry. I don't even know they had a different taste. You're joking. <laughs> I swear. Strawberry. All of them that come in a pack? Why would they make strawberry green? Because the red one is um, cherry. Cherry, yeah. It's kind of stupid. Honestly, yeah. I never even knew they had color, that flavor. 
I know. I thought they were all the same flavor. You no. guys are weird. No, eat them. I just eat them by the <laughs> yeah, like four, or five, yeah. yeah, like fucking um M and M's. It says on the back, doesn't it? You don't, yeah, that but is, you don't eat them one at a time. No. Wait, I don't be throwing like five gummy bears in my mouth, bro. I definitely do. Be. <laughs> That's gummy weird. Bears? That's wild. That's weird. <laughs> That's a little strange. Maybe I'm obsessing on five. Maybe like three. <laughs> Maybe three, but they all taste no, the same. More, more than one is is wrong. More than one's. I just realized that I'm not throwing. Yeah. More than two in my mouth, bro. I'm not throwing more than one. Also, I haven't had gummy bears in like eight years. True. Also very true. But but also but I think I, I wasn't eating them solo. I throw like mad amount of Skittles in my mouth. I throw like eight Skittles in my mouth, and I just. Oh, but you can taste the difference in flavors. I'm putting two gummy okay, bears. Okay, well at least with thinking, these gummy bears, oh, they dude, do I'd be taste tossing them. No, that is seven. different. That is yeah. Gummy bears or Skittles. Oh, Skittles? Are, what are we talking about? Which one are you talking about? Skittles. Skittles. Gummy bears? I'm throwing like three in my mouth. Yeah, so you can't really taste the difference. You can. I don't think you so. You focus on one. Nah. Then you get the... Like Ratatouille. I don't think so. Mm. The world's greatest chef. Would you or have you ever wanted to cuff a sneaky link? Yes. Would you or you have wanted to? I have. Like, pretty much almost everybody has, No. I've never wanted to cuff a sneaky link. Really? Yeah. Mm -mm. Why is that? She's a sneaky link for a reason. Wait, I guess. Wait, I guess. Wait, you know. Wait. No. 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 I'm lying. I'm completely, I'm completely lying. <laughs> yeah. Like completely she's lying. a sneaky yeah, link no, for a reason. Not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I. I. Before being a sneaky link, I definitely wanted them to be something else before. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. It. That's. I feel like that's. In at least in my opinion, like someone's a sneaky link because, like, for a reason. Like, if I wanted them to be like more, I would have asked them out on a date instead of saying like come over at like 2 a.m yeah yeah i've yeah, i wanted to sure. i've wanted to date a sneaky link was it like right off the bat though mm -hmm. it was eventually over time mm -hmm. like how much time are we talking about and did they have any feelings for you at first or was it just oh god this guy like broke my heart really yeah oh, wow. i want to hear about it we can wrap it up on this one papa we yeah he we were seeing each other for like three months and I could tell that he liked me. Mm. And by what? Because he was asking me on dates more instead of just coming over. Because in the beginning, he just came over like at 10, left in the morning. But then he was like, oh, do you want to? I'm, I'm not letting Sneaky Lee spend the night. <laughs> spend the night? Every time you guys were like getting it on, he'd spend the night? Yeah, we didn't always like sleep together, but. I, I was like, if you want to crash here, like, you can crash. Like, I never kicked them out, is what okay. I'm saying. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What if somebody told you that? What? You went over and they're like, you could crash here. I know what you're doing. I'm leaving. Yeah. I'm, I'm fucking leaving. You're a little yeah. snuggly. I know what you're doing. Mm, no, I'm leaving. I know you are. I'm I'm, I'm, I think I'm that's kind of reasonable, though. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm leaving. Unless I genuinely, genuinely enjoy the person's company. company. But again, but then again, if I'm enjoying their company, though. I think it'd be a friend. I definitely had a, a friend. I get, I've okay, had a I don't hook up with people that I don't enjoy the company of. Yeah, see, I would consider them a friend. Damn. Okay, that's a good point. Yeah, see, you know. But yeah. he was still, I just thought about that right now. Like, he was still a sneaky link because, you know, I guess by definition, he was just coming over to fuck. Mm -hmm. Like, that, yeah. was, that was all it was. Yeah. No but, dinner, no nothing, no food. Mm -mm, but he's... I realized that he started to like me and I was like, fuck, I gotta kind of like break things off a little bit. Uh -huh. So I like started inviting him over less or I would just say like, oh, sorry, I'm busy. And then he kind of ignored me for a bit. And when he did come back, he just wanted to fuck. And I was like, I want, I want him. What switch? Was it the fact that well, he ignored what you? What the switch for you? Was it that fact that he ignored you? And like, did, is it because you started playing the chase? Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. So he was. So he was like totally fine when you said like, oh, like, uh, you don't have to come over. He's like, he's like, all right. Yeah. Or she was like, hey, yo, come over. He's like, nah, I'm busy. So did it start with him chasing you up for you? <laughs> oh, fuck. I hate to say it, fellas, but that's how it works every time. <laughs> every time, that's how it works. You can't be chasing. As soon as you start chasing, that's when you start losing. Yeah. She's like, I'm no. busy. Okay. The chasey. Don't you chase. Be win the not race. The chaser. Exactly what I'm saying. No, like it, that wasn't it. You know, like he, I realized that I missed him. Mm. So did you have feelings or like without I, realizing? I think I did. Mm. I probably did. Um, 
and I was just like, fuck, I really want to see him, even if we don't have sex. And then that's when I was like, nope. Oh, <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yeah. Okay. See, yeah. I, I, can, I can see that. Yeah, and then by the time I confessed my feelings to him, he was like, sorry. And then... How did that make you feel? He shot you down? Mm-hmm. Because I definitely I did that before, and I, I didn't even realize it. With Sneely? Yeah. But they were also a friend. Yeah. Okay. I was, so yeah, I was, I was like, valid. Friend. That's valid. Yeah, I've never. Yeah, so that's like, valid. I've never had like a reoccurring sneaky link that like was either a friend or someone that whose company like I enjoyed besides them coming over for that one reason. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. See, I've never had a just a sneaky link like not even really knowing them like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Neither have I. So yeah, it just. Oh, I was heartbroken. I think I cried for like six months. Oh, so you guys never like got together or anything like that? Mm-mm. Wow. Is he blocked? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> what? It's a fucking circle, boys, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's a fucking he's, circle. He's blocked. It all comes back Welcome around to the jungle. Welcome to the sh- fucking jungle. Na, 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 you ever see that that dragon eating itself? It's the same fucking no, thing. No, listen. Yin you didn't, and even, yang. You didn't even fin- you didn't even finish listening to it. I blocked him after I realized that he had blocked me. Oh. And. Uh, Wait. How do you, you block somebody that blocks or you? Like, already? He blocked me and then unblocked me. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. Double fucking whammy. So you saw that he blocked you mm-hmm. because I had unfollowed What'd him. What did you do? How did you realize like, it? Because I noticed that I had unfollowed him, and I was like, I've never unfollowed him. Oh. Yeah, and then I was like, "Fuck you!" And I blocked him. Damn. <laughs> yeah, because my after my most recent breakup, I was like, I miss him. I want to text Damn. him. Damn. Hey, I'll say it. Hey, I'll say it. Bitch, you petty bitch, I'm petty too. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> that's damn. That's, yeah. Wait, that's the point you made earlier, though. The, I told you, people, you block people who you're emotionally vulnerable for. Yeah, I. Wh- it oh, comes I'm full circle. <laughs> it comes full circle, man. Yeah. Yin Yang, the four fucking elements. It's all the same. Skadoosh. Skadoosh, motherfucker. Skadoosh. But okay. Um. All in your junk. Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah. What? I mean, like. <laughs> Now I'm over him, you know. It's I got over that. It's been a long time. Probably, yeah, it's yeah. been a long time. It's been like a year. What if like after this we all went like in and out, and he was there, and he was like, "Oh my god, like Christine, like how you been?" And you're like, "Oh, like you know, I'm famous now." <laughs> and then and then he's like, "Yeah, like I seen you around. Like we should go grab a bite to eat or something. Like let me." And I kind of <laughs> like what would you do that? Like honestly, like oh, Same like what's cereals. your? What's your what, <laughs> I got a new phone. Like can I get your phone number? What if you said that? I got a new phone. Can I, I would get your phone say number? I would say sorry, like. I'm in a relationship. I'm very happy with my relationship right no, now. That's yeah. the right answer. W. Yeah. Christine. See, Christine's one of the few women w. that are very w. nice. W. Christine. 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 I've been saying. Christine. Christine. Winston. W. Winston. W. Winston over there. Winston. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't fuck up what I have now because, like, it obviously didn't work out with him then for no, a exactly, reason. For Do you know reason, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if if things were to were supposed to work out, they would have, and we just like missed our chance, and that's that. That makes sense. Every time you say Adele, I'm gonna start calling you Winston. What? I'm gonna start calling Christine Winston. 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 Uh, every every W Christine moment. Winston. Winston. <laughs> um, I love Winston. Other Winston from New Girl. New Girl. Yeah. Yes. Um. Other than that, though, guys, like we can keep this one pretty short and simple. I liked it tonight. Was oh, it was pretty good. I got. Got some closure. Realized why I absolutely hate that woman. Anyways, um, <laughs> guys, this has been <laughs> Suburb Talks. I am your host, Nick Grajeta. Devante. Sage. And I'm Christine. Remember, guys, like, subscribe, follow us on all our platforms, add us in the Discord, uh, drop some questions. Like I said, um, we're going to start a new uh, segment for the channel where we're going to no, have callers. That. That shit ain't that shit trash. You can't handle me. Hold up. Ain't you Nathaniel B? <laughs> that shit was trash. You can't handle me. How? Hold up. Ain't you Nathaniel B? <laughs> How tapped in are you to TikTok? Not really right now. I'm a little behind. Okay. I'm I'm gonna delete. Ain't my... you Nathaniel B? <laughs> ain't you Nathaniel B? No, no, no. Oh, it's good. It's good. That shit was trash. You can't handle me. Hold up. Ain't you Nathaniel B? You need to keep that in. You know, you know Darius? Nah. Mm. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> you don't know Darius? <laughs> I need to show you really fast. <laughs> really fast. Darius really be fast. spitting, though. He's like, he's like, <laughs> you don't know? Spitting? Spitting. That shit was trash. You can't handle me. Dude, hold up.
Ain't you Nathaniel All B? All I see in my TikTok comments, like if you check the comments, I just seen Nathaniel B question mark. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck, fuck is Nathaniel B? Who the fuck is Chris? Darius. 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 Why are you in my closet? You don't know Darius? Darius, Darius listen. Dude, up. you fucked up. Guys, can I keep it a bug with you? Yeah. You guys are on completely different sides of TikTok than me. You're on the, I think you're I on am the wrong too. side of TikTok. I think I'm what on TikTok are you on? My TikTok's very gay. I mean, like, it's very, like, LGBTQIA. Oh, okay, like, okay, yeah, That's yeah, yeah, a lot yeah, yeah. of, like, the content oh. creators that I see, like, the type of posts. Got very it, girly it. stuff, a lot so, of makeup. Like, Are you, like, are the videos popping up? Are they all, like, over a million likes and stuff like that? No. Um, I have a lot of, like, I, re- I like really, like, I like really cool cars. And there's, like, some music. <laughs> that's oh, that's yeah, diverse. My, my TikTok's very diverse. A lot of animals, lots of cats and cows. I love watching people on farms on TikTok. So not That's Darius so cool. or Nathaniel B. You don't have you don't have Nathaniel. Who the fuck is Nathaniel B? <laughs> Bro, you guys are on some like you ever see like the the picture of like they'll show like uh, an iceberg and they'll be like this is like the top of the iceberg and then it'll get deeper yeah. and deeper. You guys are close to the bottom. You guys are close to the bottom because yeah. when he opens up his FYP, his shit doesn't even have like <laughs> ten thousand likes. Yeah, neither does mine. Doesn't. But but his is like the lowest quality stupid videos that you've ever seen. <laughs> like I true. get some of those too. I had one today of this guy that had zero likes and zero comments, and I Damn. went to the views, and it was like twenty something views. Dude, no, that shit's creepy. I'm on the the dankest of memes on TikTok. For <laughs> yeah. sure. I do be having some dank memes. My shit for a while was just like the flipping through stuff, like just flipping through uh, <laughs> this pictures. Yeah, it was oh, the yeah, it was the phone yeah, guy for all the time. That was, that was a that was a me- moment in TikTok. But um, <laughs> anyways, so motherfuckers, gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Is that something like blind? Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, um stop talking. <laughs> uh next segment we're gonna have i'm gonna figure out if we can have you guys call in if not we're gonna create another channel on the discord where you guys can go ahead and drop your relationship advice or like asking like relationship questions i might even try and make a google like anonymous so that you guys can anonymously ask questions because i feel like yeah Yeah, because i feel like that would be a lot better and people would be more willing to like actually drop um questions in there so yeah, that's next up, guys. And also, let us know in the comments, like, who you guys would want to see um, in the future. For Like, it doesn't even have to be, like, an interview type shit. Just, like, them at the table with us, yeah. joshing it up, talking about the Kama Sutra, you know? Um, teaching us more positions than just the three that we collectively know as a whole. Um, but, yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next segment. Peace the fuck out, y'all. Salute, my people. Salute, 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 salute. <coughs> Seija. <laughs> My mom says that. <laughs> Seija. I know that was a really like girly way to say it. Sorry. I've been around my sister a lot. <laughs> uh.